Our next one on stones is this little shiny one right here, a venturine. The sample of a venturine that I have right here is quite small, you know, kind of the same size as a lot of the different stones that I've shown you guys. But this particular one is a green one. I know it kind of looks bluish to you, but it's more green than blue, maybe kind of teal. But then again, being a guy, I don't exactly know those colors that are not exactly Roy G. Biv. But I did some research on this one, and I think I'm going to be keeping this one uh, in my bag now that I know exactly what it is. So I basically learned about it while making this video for you guys. So let me show you what I found. Now, I do have my list just like I always do, so I just gotta move it kinda over here. And, all right, so Aventurine is the Stone of Opportunity. It's associated with the Heart Chakra, which I kinda found really interesting because usually Heart Chakra things are more red, although there is a type of Aventurine that is orange. Um, I believe I might have seen a red one, but hey. Um, it benefits the lungs, liver, sinuses, and the heart. It's, and this is very interesting for this stone, this is the first time I've seen something that says this, um, it governs uh, birth to seven years old. I don't know if there are any other stones that govern certain time periods in life, but um, this is the first one that I found that where it's said that during my research. It's good for heart regeneration, so people that have like a damaged heart from like, you know, heart attack or um, things like that. Um, Green Aventurine, like this one, improves intelligence and creativity. Its name comes Aventura, which was a type of glass from the 1700s in Italy. And Aventura is actually Italian, and it means by chance. So it's mostly, mostly green, but comes in the colors blue, red, yep, um, to reddish brown, dusty purple, orange, or even peach, yellow, and silver gray. It's really interesting how a bunch of these stones can really kind of look like each other. So stones really differ based on their composition. Now, I wasn't able to find a composition for this one like I do with most of them. I wasn't able to find the hardness either. But let's just keep going with what else this stone helps with. It prevents arteriosclerosis, which is like the scarring of um, your arteries and stuff, from bad habits. Um, it balances hormones, particularly in women. It aligns opportunities to thing so things happen in the bear's manner. Basically, it skews events in your favor. It kind of just pushes the dominoes down in the right way, kind of sets up the cards for success. That's why it's got the by chance name. Um, it benefits the, the thymus gland and the nervous system. It balances your blood pressure. It can stimulate metabolism, lower cholesterol. It's anti-inflammatory. It eases skin problems like um, skin eruptions, I think is what it said. Um, it can help with allergies, which I don't particularly have, but migraines, yes please. Um, it can soothe the eyes, so if you stare at a screen a lot and your eyes get tired, like when I was writing my fantasy novel, yes, please. So the next time I get into writing, I'm going to have this one next to me, the same as uh, Red Jasper, which is the last video that I did on stones. If you guys haven't seen it, you can check it out on the stones playlist, where I have tons of stones that I continually add to when I find more and make more of these videos. So it can heal the lungs, sinuses, heart, muscular, and urogenital systems, it absorbs electromagnetic signals, so it's good for what hippies call tower busting, <clears throat> if you guys have uh, ever heard of that, where people put stones such like this one or organite um, near electrical grid towers to kind of cut back on the, um, the EMF waves and things like that that they think um, can influence people in a negative way. But I don't think there's any like scientific proof to that or whatever. Although I did see a um, haunting episode where somebody's house that was underneath those big tower grid things um, had a lot of um, spiritual activity in it, and one of the investigator guys said that the um, electrical towers, houses, and dwellings that tend to be near those big electrical towers can have some more spiritual activity because there's more latent energy around for spirits to use to manifest uh, on this plane. But then again, that's more of um, what kind of science is it? Um, you guys let me know if, about that word because I can't think of it right now. The, the study of um, ghosts and other things like that. I mean, paranormal, blah, blah, blah. Can't think of it off the top of my head. Probably need some coffee, but I'm gaming for a nap later. Um, so what else? It can help with academic work and soothes hyperactivity. 
Um, it can ground a home or office, and it can also help soothe arguments between um, people that are in a relationship. So this is an all-around really interesting little stone here. And, um, you know, it comes in a lot of different colors and variations. The one that I used for the thumbnail and the little title card was one that's, you know, more uncut. This is, of course, like a lot of the stones that I have and the ones that I find, other than my lapis. Um, this one is tumbled, so it is very smooth, but it does have a uh, little kind of other colored blemishes in it. I'm trying to get it without embarrassingly dropping it, but you guys can kind of get an idea of the little uh, discolorations that are in it. But it is a rather interesting little guy. You know, it's an interesting little stone that I just learned about today, and now I share it with you guys. So let me know what you think about this. Check out all of my other stone videos that you can find on the playlist, and um, any of the other videos that I put up if you're interested in magic, tulpamancy, or any of my books, or my fantasy novel. Good hunting. Thanks for watching my video. So if you want to check out my playlist, I have, among others, the Simon Necronomicon, the Tree of Life, General Magic, Tulpamancy, a playlist on my books, the elements, stones, the theories that govern magic, and the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia. If you want to check out my books on Amazon, I have Creating Consciousness, Magical Mechanics, Magical Theater, Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Movement, which is an update and expansion upon Handy Sigil Magic, Magical Mastery, which is a combination masterwork of Magical Theater and Magical Mechanics, and The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond. You can also find me on Facebook at MagicologyYT. You can email me at priestofthenecro at gmail.com, and you can even check out my Instagram, which is Magicology. And good hunting.